Right, um, we got a call to this compressor a little while ago. Um, it was tripping the um, overloads out. Anyway, we traced it to the um, motor windings to short it to the ground. Um, so we disconnected that and made it safe. Um, we had a leak on the um, accumulator and I've braced that uh, just now. Um, but what was worrying me was the sight glass. I don't know if this is going to pick that up in there. Shade it a bit. But that looks. It's going to focus in. That little blob there looks like water. I mean, they have had moisture problems in the past, apparently. Um, so, what we've done today is we covered all the refrigerant out. We've got eight kilos out, which is good because it doesn't point to having a severe leak and having sucked water in from the uh, ice builder. Um, and we've put 170 pounds of nitrogen in there. We're going to leave that for a few days. And then come back with a replacement compressor. Um, we're going for a different type to this because this is a, um, it's a five horsepower um, compressor that is designed to run from on on R22, which is on now. It's designed to run from minus 20 to minus 40, and this is um, on this system will probably run from about maybe might do plus five, plus ten in the tank, down to maybe minus two or three. And then the ice build, it could be anything from around naught, probably down to minus 10, minus 15. So it's completely out of its application. Um, they've had quite a few of them fail. It's got another one here. Um, so we're going with a different style of compressor. I have to redo the pipe work and the wiring. 